Do you feel like you're always overthinking and overcomplicating your fitness or nutrition plan? Well, today I'm going to tell you why you need to keep it simple. Welcome to today's episode of One Take Your Daily Book Kicking with myself, Connor Anderton, if you don't already know who I am. I'm an online coach of the last 10 years who specializes in getting regular guys insane physique transformations and getting them incredibly strong in the process. Now, if you clicked on today's video, it's because you're overcomplicating everything. You're overcomplicating your nutrition, you're overcomplicating your training plan and coming from experience, especially this week with some clients on some of their weekly check-ins, I wanted to talk about this, okay, and why you need to keep it simple. So many people want to, they want a new training plan, they want a new nutrition plan, they want the next best thing, they want to do fancy exercises, they want to eat fancy foods or whatever it may be, they want to eat the next big fad diet or whatever it is. When in reality, the body works, how the body works, and simplicity is key. One thing you cannot deny is true methods that work, results, proven results, and experience of people who have taken a lot of people from A to B, okay? What I tend to find is the people who do not get from A to B are the ones who are willing to do the fad diets, the ones who want the next best thing, they want the next training plan, okay? They always want more, they want more, they want more, when the reality is what they need to do is the basics. <laughs> I get a lot of people that speak to me about this kind of stuff and I have to always just bring them back to that simplicity. Now, if you've watched other videos on my channel, if you're a subscriber, you know I have a very simplistic approach, yet science-backed um, approach to fitness, to coaching, to getting people results, to strength, whatever it might be because it works, nothing fancy. I'm not trying to sell you the next best thing. What I'm trying to do is educate and teach you that if you stick with the basics, you will get the result that you want. If you get drawn off to a random path, you will not get results, okay? You might do short term, but definitely not long term. Fitness is very much a long term game and you need to keep it that way. You need to approach your nutrition and training in a way that you can stick to for years on end. And it's not just a three month thing, it's not a six month thing, it's not even a 12 month thing. It's can you be doing this style of training? Can you be eating in this style with these foods, with this structure, with these timings for years on end? That is how you're going to stay in shape. So you're gonna get in shape and then stay in shape for the rest of your life. Because we all know many people might get in shape to a certain extent and then completely bottle it, go back to all the old ways because what they were doing in the meantime wasn't sustainable. So your fitness approach should always be about sustainability and what can you just absolutely stick to and what do you enjoy? What I try and tell my clients is that if we give you an approach that you actually enjoy sticking to, you're probably going to get the result. If I give you something that you look at and go, Christ almighty, I'm going to have to change my life for this, are you going to get a result? No. You might have a week or two, but you're just not going to get anywhere. So you need to keep it simple. So when it comes to your nutrition, what I advise you do is stop thinking of the next big thing. Stop reading fad diets. Stop, you know, looking up <laughs> what exact food is going to burn fat and all this rubbish. What I want you to do is actually track your calories, see what you respond to, see what your weight does with that amount of calories going in. So if you're eating two and a half thousand calories and that maintains your weight, you've got a good gauge whether you want to gain weight or lose weight of what to do. You know, you either go up to 2,700, you come down to 2,300, and that's going to gain or lose. And you need to keep it simple with the very, very obvious approach to all this. And then when it comes to your food choices, I've had new clients recently who I've had to tell, look, you don't have to be a Michelin star chef in order to enjoy your diet. That's actually going to make it more stressful. What's going to be way more sustainable is you picking foods that are easy to cook, you do enjoy, you know, they digest well, you can prepare large amounts very easily and that is going to be extremely doable. So for myself, I just make sure I have eggs, a little bit of salmon and toast every morning. It takes five minutes to cook and it's extremely healthy. For lunch, we'll make a big batch of 
chicken Thai green curry. Very simple to make. It can last four or five days in the fridge. Easy lunch is done. Evening time. It can be another very simple meal of bacon, pasta, mushrooms, some chicken or whatever it might be. And then for snacks, yogurt, protein powder. That kind of diet for me personally, you might be listening to that thinking, oh, that sounds rubbish, it sounds boring. But for me personally, that's something I can absolutely stick to without thinking, without being stressed about cooking. For you, it might be a different approach. It might be oats in the morning with a whey shake. It might just be a whey shake and a piece of fruit on the way to work. Is that sustainable? Cool, do that. Don't think you have to cook this miraculous breakfast in order to be healthy. It's just not the case. So go with simplicity, go with what works. Make it work your schedule, your lifestyle, your taste. Don't go outside of that because it'll stress you out. In life, we already have too many stresses, too many things going on to make nutrition an added stress, okay? Very important. When it comes to training, I'd say we've got to go with the basics, okay? If you're training three days a week, I recommend full body, rest, full body, rest, full body, rest, 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 or whatever, okay? Lots of frequency in there. You can put different emphasis into different days, so you could have a full body day with back emphasis, full body day with chest emphasis, full body day with shoulder emphasis or leg emphasis or whatever it might be, and that's going to work extraordinarily well for people who, you know, aren't IFBB pro bodybuilders, okay? They're the kind of people who need ultra specificity, okay? For yourself, you probably don't, including myself. Now, if that doesn't work, you could go into the next best thing, which is gonna be an upper, lower split. Upper, lower, rest, upper, lower, rest, upper, lower, rest, and keep following that formula. Again, on the different upper days, changes the emphasis. Have you got a weak chest? Okay, well maybe start with chest on your first day. If you've got a weak back, maybe start with back, okay? And keep rotating through different ranges of exercises. Don't repeat the same workout on them upper days. Have a two day rotation on them days. First day chest exercise could be barbell bench press and a pet fly. Your second day chest exercise could be an inclined Smith press and a dip. Okay, make it entertaining, make it enjoyable, make it doable and train it in a way that's actually gonna work. Okay, forget the bro splits, forget training chest on a Monday. You just will not have enough training frequency and stimulating the muscle enough in order to get the best result. If there's going to be a guy, I don't know, let's say, standing next to you who is training his shoulders twice per week and you're training a month, I know who is growing more, okay? So keep your training simple, keep it enjoyable. Don't go for all the fancy exercises of standing one-legged on a ball through ball while doing bicep curls. Do some bicep curls and progress them over time. One rep every week. An extra kilo in your hand the week after. That is all it takes. Just be consistent, track your weights, track your reps, maybe track the intensity and make sure you are progressing that way. And that's how you're going to get results. Now, guys, keep it simple. That's all this was about for your training and nutrition. If you enjoyed this kind of content where it's just me talking, educating, maybe consider subscribing to the channel because it's going to be a lot of that. I'm going to be branching out into my recovery soon of all the weight training vlogs, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I'll see you in the next episode.